Just to make it look a little different. It's still incredibly cold. So, um, if I go and prepare carefully, load my this preset here. And let's say I'm going to load a second copy of Omeless. Male and female. Let's make you look different. I guess I can just randomize the look. There we go. So, can we make you married to the start? Nice. Alright, they're married. We're gonna have to rename. Uh, I mean, neither one of them will be lo uh, um, homeless anymore. Instead, we're gonna have Lexian over here. Uh, and Myron over here. And Actually, let me hit um, randomize just for some sort of first and last name. Um, there we go. Lexion over here. All right. Uh, we'll have to build them a, a, a proper bed so they can share a bed together. Um, and I want, I want them to share the same traits, but I'll randomize their backstories. Uh, can't dumb labor, can't intellectual. Well, actually, okay, there we go. You're incapable of none. You can't intellectual... That's not actually a problem, though. Because we don't need both to be... Although, I don't know, it'd be nice to have... There we go. Shelter child, inventor. Sickly child, veterinarian. Again, all their skills are going to be set to zero, but they'll have super passion for everything. The only thing that aren't set to zero are the things they start with because of their background. Just just arbitrarily, we're going to do that. Um, right, that's skin color, not clothing, right? Yeah, which, I mean, whatever. There we go. Mix that up a little bit. Because um, clothing color is determined by the clothing they wear. Yeah. Do, 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 do. All right, I think I'm happy with this. Next. Uh, oh, it didn't actually load the preset from over here. So I need to, once again, get them to start with about double the normal. You can't type here for some reason. Maybe I loaded the wrong one. I'm going to throw in a little bit more steel. Something like this, because we were clearly running a little low there. Um, although, if we were better with trading. And then something like that with components. Um, I could get a second charge rifle, or something like that to start off with. Basically, it's like... It's basically double the lone survivor setup. Except no extra meals. Ah, now we're talking about scary. You can drag the ar arrows to go faster. Oh, really? Nope. Oh, you can drag the middle. Okay. So something like this. Do a sniper rifle? We could go with a pair of sniper rifles instead. That would be... That would be interesting, because the thing with sniper rifles is their effective damage isn't that high. But their range is phenomenal. That's the whole... That's the whole thing. You guys want me to do sniper rifles instead? We could go one of each, although it's quite nice to have... We could go one of each. There it is. There we are. Sniper rifle and a shotgun. Minigun, no. Minigun is so dumb. So bad. Um, we could get something like... We could get some pack animals as a preparation for moving around a lot more, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to go with this. You know, one of each, yeah. Good. Start. So, our initial setup will be very similar. Oh, right, I forgot. I start on a different map. 
So this has actually got mineables. Oh, actually, doesn't this look quite interesting? Looks very different from standard. I mean, it's got geothermal vents, right? Because we're not actually on the ocean this time. That was part of the problem. There's a critter! There's foxes! Oh, this is going to be a completely different game. Maybe even too easy. It's fine. Um, we're going to start off by, right away, just going and unforbidding everything. Just to make life a little bit easier. Do 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 do. Uh, we're going to get... Do any of them have shooting skills as is? No. So, I don't know. Myron, you're going to take the sniper rifle. Legzian, you're going to take the charge rifle. That's going to be fine. Um, I mean, we got blocks. we got all kinds of things going on here. Any mineables over here? Nothing close, huh? But yeah, we can get some components there, some steel, presumably somewhere. We could mine into the rock, which opens up the possibility of bug infestations, but makes it a lot easier to sort of double wall up, which is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about building a base over here. So I, I tend to prefer being more central. I suppose what you could do is build the outside here and build a long tunnel after that that goes here and into there. I don't know if that's the best way to do things. I mean, there's actually enough room in here for lots of rooms. Actually, maybe we'll do that. Um, I don't know if I want to go right into mining, since it can take a long time to do that. But, I don't know, perhaps. Big room. Actually, I'm going to make it um, eight wide, because then we can put a double bed, um, like, really nicely centered over here. So, a giant master bedroom for people right away. I've got something in my eye and it's driving me crazy. Brah. Nice double wide hallway. Like that. And like that. <clears throat> it does take a while to dig this out. But not that long, and especially if I basically just make these people only do that at first. We can probably get them indoors extremely quickly. But yeah, they have no um, no mining skills, so they're really going to be quite slow. Hmm. Maybe, we can split a bit of the difference. I could build a bit of a structure outside right over here. You know, just like that. Get the door here. And just in case they need it, just drop down a couple of sleeping spots here. Early on. Um, and... A stockpile zone. Like that. You can even grow some sides for your meat. <laughs> now... This is all stone. There's some gravel here. Okay, so gravel has 70% fertility. Okay, it's actually not so bad. Could grow a little bit of crops out here. And I do have a mod that, um, with research, lets me um, deploy soil on top of ground. Also lets me um, till the soil for some extra fertility as well. Which I thought was pretty realistic. I like the, uh, the idea of something like that. Um, you know what? Actually, cancel that. That's going to be fine. I'm going to mine this at some point, but I'll put the doorway in there. There we go. Uh, while your A16 sells the debug bar at the top, there's an option in here for development mode. You probably want to turn that off. You don't want the debug bar. Can't you remove snow? Um, this is ice. It's not snow. You need the uh, land reclamation tech to remove the ice. And apparently, I haven't even tried that yet, but yeah, you can't just remove the ice. Let's put a dumping stockpile out here or something like that. Until we figure out what we want to do. So yeah, you can see this is really quite a slow thing. Oh, that's interesting. The game does... It, it. I didn't realize it was going to alternate some of these jobs, not actually just turn them on for everyone. Oh. Because I should turn on the other mining jobs so they work together. I mean, having only one person do these jobs means that that one person will get the skills faster and they can just focus on different things. 
Hmm. So there's no trees. So there's still going to be a massive wood shortage, but that's actually it. When we do start our research, we're actually going to want to start um, on stone cutting right away, which we've started with that tech. Excellent. So that's what we're going to need to do right away is build things out of stone ASAP. I'm almost like wishing I hadn't wasted the uh, wood in the walls. Like we can get most of it back from deconstructing, but not literally all of it. The, tile, the tilled soil at 200% fertility feels more OP. Yeah, I agree. It should actually just set it to 100% or something like that. Or slightly higher than whatever you want. If it was just 100%, I'd be quite satisfied with it. So we may not have to, we may not do it. Um, yeah, we'll haul this stuff out at some point. This is going to be ugly and slow things down. They're going to have a little nap over there. Just rely on survival meals for a little while. And I think we're going to do this. Survival beacon out here. And then we'll make sure this area gets roofed over. Once we get the stockpile, so we need know where we need to go for that. Uh, it, grow trees outside this temp. It's not the temperature, it's the ground. As far as I know, the, the trees will grow year-round. I might be wrong, but I think they will grow year-round, as long as there's fertile spots, which now we do have a little bit of it. This is actually very much like a desert start. Most of the center stuff would be inaccessible or ungrowable in a desert, but then there'd be little bits of gravel along the side that you could grow a little bit of stuff on. I mean, I could start an early crop, I suppose. Might not be a terrible idea. Uh, again, potatoes have very low fertility sensitivity. So, let me cancel this one. Um, so they, I mean, they're still not going to grow brilliantly. And I mean, it's 70% fertile, which isn't bad. But yeah, we can get a few potato crops. Meat potatoes. There you go. Let's get rid of these little micro zones because they were kind of annoying me. There we are. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Plenty of geothermal. Is that a polar bear? Oh, man. I'm kind of scared of the polar bear. I mean, I suppose with two people going out there and shooting it, it may be okay. Um, of course, we don't have any shooting skill yet. So, again, we'll have to do some practice there. There's your colony name, Meat and Potatoes. That's what we could have called our two people, too. All right, so we're going to build a double bed very early on. Although, we don't have any actual skill. No, it's fine. We're going to make... It's not going to be a high-quality double bed, but it will be... And double bed. Yeah, I'm just going to turn on all the jobs for everyone. And it might make sense to focus on things later on, but for now, it's okay. Should actually encourage you to haul this. And then haul that one. Construction failed. That's what I get for trying with zero skill right now. Yay! And we'll give you a door. Alright. Wooden doors are the fastest. Um, and stone doors are the slowest. In fact, stone doors are so slow that if you have a stone auto door, the auto door can't actually open fast enough to... Like when someone approaches it. When someone approaches an auto door, it starts to open automatically. And as long as it's not stone, it will open f so fast that by the time the person reaches the door tile, they can actually walk right through. But with the stone one, they're still stuck to, like, wait for a second. So I suspect on this map we'll be building a lot of steel auto doors later on. We'll see. Um, of course you're still using the sleeping spot. Well, I don't want to interrupt their sleep. But yeah, we'll have to change that afterwards. Do, 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 deconstruct, deconstruct. There we go. So they'll have their bedroom. It'll be big, it won't be crowded, it won't be too crummy. Um, we'll smooth the floor out later on, and it'll be quite nice. All right, you got that. Great. So I'm going to create stockpile over here. It's not the greatest stockpile ever made. It's just a tribute. Um, I want to stop making wooden pillars, really. This is indoors. So what we're going to do very early on is we're going to set up a stone cutters table in here. Bad temperature. 
We're gonna do that. We'll also set up some power. So, as my more usual setup, um, this is quite far out. Maybe, maybe over here. Put you there. One solar generator as well. And power conduit. Through there. And then we can get a temperature thing in there. That'll leak a fair bit. I mean, we're going to want one in the bedroom, certainly. I'm actually wondering if that might eventually trickle out here enough to make this not that cold. Probably not. I think we will have to put a little airlock thing over here. And a battery somewhere. Well, I guess this is all going to be roofed. I'm going to go and put in the expand roof area command. Not all of this will be roofable as is because... Uh, my plant's in here. Yeah, okay. Um, delete zone. Hang on. Delete zone like that. And then put the stockpile zone back in. There we go. Because otherwise the plants are all going to be covered and that was going to be dumb. Okay. Uh, yeah, there'll be a bit over here that we'll need a pillar or something for, but we'll deal with that later. This is not going to interfere with our wind turbine, which is going to be great. Yes, nothing blocking it. Wonderful. And our first visitors! How many? A pair of them. I think we'll leave them be for now. Why not use the stone walls inside so they aren't tripping over the ugly conduit? Well, you... Okay. You can't run a conduit through stone. I mean, if it was an actual wall, you can. But you can't run power conduits through, like, mountain. So we'd have to mine this out, and then we'd have to rebuild it with, like, an actual stone wall, which we don't have the ability to make blocks yet. At some point, yeah, but not yet. I'm going to get an early comms console. It'll be covered here. I'm going to put a battery out there, too. Right there. Although, you know what? It'll do the same thing where, like, if things happen in the wrong place, it'll get light on fire. And that would be unfortunate. I'll just put it indoors or some damn thing. I don't know. We'll build a new room over here. Because as long as there's not a conduit running behind it. Like, I'll just put it there. That's going to be fine. Um, and battery here is going to be fine. It'll be out of the way because batteries are ugly. You don't want them anywhere where people are going to be um, consistently. There. Uh, you do need to run power directly to it, though. So something like that. Okay. Let's try trading with one of the... Uh, I actually, they don't have anything to trade. They're just here to visit. It's probably because of the hospitality mod. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have used the Prisonius uh, overlay before. I mean, I don't normally leave it on. But, yeah, you can get an idea of what's pretty and what's not pretty. This is very dirty and dusty right now, so they're going to be very, very unhappy. We'll get that turned on in a while all stuff away there, but everyone should be feeling pretty happy. They like each other, even though they're they're both psychopaths. Maybe there's like a mutual psychopath interest thing. So yeah, the battery's not connected yet. Um, we're going to call... So the faction... So, I mean, do we call the faction meat and potatoes, or do we call the town meat and potatoes? Oh yes, and we could do some venting as well. I think we'd still need two heaters, so I'm okay with that, but you're right, we could do the vent stuff. <laughs> Partners in crazy. People are saying faction town. Um, town town. Okay, so the town is going to be meat and potatoes. With an E, right? Potatoes. I mean a Dan Quayle moment. Yes. 
Um, and I do like partners in crazy. Because who knows, we might get more. Right now, it's, um, you know, dual proprietorship. But partners in crazy. I like it. Boom. Name isn't valid. Oh, what, the ampersand? Meat in potatoes. There we go. Interesting. Why wouldn't it allow the ampersand? Huh. All right. Um, boo, boo, boo. Stonecutter's table. Add bill. Um, make any stone blocks. Do forever. And we're going to delete that stockpile there. So things get moved. Plant some of that. Low food, huh? Oh, because it's not it's not a stockpile right now. That's the problem. So we're going to go and turn this on. I'm going to turn on um, high priority cleaning over here. And high priority hauling over here. And I didn't realize these had gotten... When I turned them on, they'd come on with a one. There we go. I guess the firefight, patient, doctor, bed rest, flick. I always want maxed out. There we are. Okay, good. Cleaning, hauling. Wonderful. So we're always going to need a fair amount of that going on. Although, um, yeah, maybe growing, actually. Make sure that's super high up. We do want some meat on our menu soon, but getting a few crops growing might not be bad. I don't know what the growing period is going to be. It's probably going to be super short. I'm just realizing we may actually not even get a single harvest. It's entirely possible we won't get a single harvest here. But we'll try. We'll do one round of planting and see how it works out. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this now and say, do not allow sowing anymore. It's all considered one growing zone? Really? How'd that happen? Wow! Minus seven and one from their stay. They were really unhappy. They've had enough of you. Wow! They're fleeing. Oh, what happened here? Oh, the polar bear ate one! <laughs> oh, they dropped a ton of stuff. Oh my god! Is that an excellent minigun? You know what? It's early enough. Actually, we'll do a little save here. <laughs> Let's go hunt a polar bear. Yeehaw! Oh my god, the accuracy is so bad. It's so bad. Alright. Polar bear revenge. It's fine. Any chance we've got a leg injury yet? Yeah, I don't know what that does to your overall movement. One more shot, there we go. And now you're gonna run away. Are you about to take another shot? I think you are. Oh my god, we got it! Oh, Myron got clawed one time. One time. Okay, should be okay. Uh, if you will use the bed for bed rest and medication, so that's gonna be good. Um, what I'm gonna do then is unrecruit you. We'll flag this to be hunted. Someone will uh, eventually go and just um, shoot it at point blank range and kill it because they do have hunting enabled. Here. I'll tell you to do it right away. And what's important about this is because uh, I was worried about, you know, going and grabbing this stuff here, but now we can. Chief in, uh, angered. Yeah, fine. Um, we need a butcher's table ASAP. I'm just going to put it outside. Because this is actually going to become indoors later on, so that's going to be fine. Yeah, so there'll be a, a speed penalty, but that's okay. Myron needs some medication. You're going to be just hauling that, which is fine. And then you'll go and tend to Myron using super medicine. I think that's going to be fine. I don't think he's going to be infected or anything like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, can we make the butcher's table out of something else other than wood, actually? Yeah, make it out of steel, which is so not what we would normally do. But 
but it's what we're going to want. Myron, did you get stitch up properly? Yeah. Oh, well, 59% quality bandage, but not bad. If you're not bleeding, you're not going to get infected. You'll be okay. What if you assemble a polar bear attack force? Yeah, if we can get our animal training skills high enough, that would be amazing. One of the things we can do is keep an eye out on these maps for anything that might be easily tameable. And um, just start domesticating some animals. There was the fox. I don't think that would have been too easy. There's another polar bear over here. We're not going to start taming that. But yeah, we could get to the point of like tame attack polar bears going for a walk could you maybe um prioritize working on the steel butcher's table and i suppose we could put down a little fun object we'll see order deconstruct all right you bill add bill butcher creature do forever and include human likes and make cooking well a three is fine because where it comes in in the order so they'll, they'll prioritize cooking a fair bit excellent what is this panoxlin and it is deteriorating right now because it's not roofed um so i will quickly go and put in i guess we'll use a little bit more wood for this but now this is dumb although i really do have to find a source of steel somewhere because right now we do have a limited amount. Again, components... There was some steel just to the north, wasn't it? What is this? It's gold. There's gold in them dire hills. There's a ton of steel over here. It sort of sucks that we have to slog through snow 100% of the time to get anywhere. But I guess that's fine. We can deconstruct more of these things to get blocks as well, which ain't going to be too bad. I think that's the most convenient steel to get to at this time. Hey, yeah, bulk goods trader. Uh, that probably means you have wood. And a whole bunch of Yorkshire Terriers? What? Alright. Wood! You have a lot. There we go buy 800 units of wood that'll last us for a good long time i mean we're spending a lot of money doing this but i think it's kind of sort of okay i'm gonna sell the dead man's toque yorkie cavalry <laughs> would building roads help um yeah because uh, maybe because the ice has an innate slowdown if it snows, we'll still have to clear the snow, but you're right, there is that. I'm not going to build one out to the mining area, but it is a possibility. And you're right, we have, um... Sleeping Sickness Plague. Yeah. Let's do that. Sell some polar bear skin. I don't... If we kill a second polar bear, then we'll have enough to make a duster. So I guess I'll keep that. Oh, sell the shirt. I missed that. Okay, I think I'm good with this. Get a corgi. They're not corgis. They're Yorkies. You're right. If there were corgis, we could do that. Hey, look at the pattern the wood made. That's cool. All right, so now we have lots. Lots and lots. We're going to have to get a cooking table up and running at some point, too. Maybe now, actually. Because we're going to be just eating survival meals as is, which isn't terrible. I'm going to get those guns. Nice. Deconstruct the steel walls. Were these steel walls? Slate steel. Ah, and more steel over here. Yeah, that's quite good. So yeah, we don't start cooking quite yet. Someone wants to join us! He's an artist! Oh, I like artists. They always taste so creative. Hello, Munas. Why don't you, um... Why don't you go and melee the polar bear?
Uh, I think this this polar bear may actually be aggroed already. 